Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to continue talking about Niagara Events in Unreal 4. In this video, we'll be covering Death Events. So if you haven't checked out the other videos, Collision Events and Location Events, I recommend that you go and do that. We're going to be using the emitters and the system from those videos. So to get this started, I'm going to open up my Niagara system and I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to delete the Generate Location Event on the first emitter. And on the second emitter, I'm going to delete receive location event. And then under event handler, I'm going to delete the handler properties. Now to get this started, under particle update, we want to click on the plus icon. We want to type in death. We're looking for generate death event. And this is a lot like the other event modules. So if we come to emitter properties, none of our events will work unless we have requires persistent IDs turned on and they won't work as a GPU sim. It has to be CPU. So now we have an event that's sending information. Now we need to receive it. So on our second particle, we're gonna to go to add event handler, and we're gonna click on the plus icon, and we should get event handler properties. And now in here, we need to change the source so that we can have a relationship with our first emitter. So I'm gonna click on the dropdown, and I'm gonna change this to death event. And then execution mode, we want this to be spawned particles. Now the spawn number, I'm going to set this to one for now. And now we'll go take a look. And in this case, we'll see particles spawning, but they're not spawning where our other particles die. So we need to add a receive event. So in our event handler, we're going to click on plus and we'll type in receive and we're looking for receive death event. And now, if we save this, and we go take a look, wherever one of our particles die, we should see our other particle system spawn. Cool? Alright guys, if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.